Hey guys, how's it going? Okay, so today is Wednesday and I am going to attempt a, another Days of Our Locksmithing Lives video being Wacky Wednesday. Wacky Wednesday or Whacked Wednesday depending on how the day goes. Never know. So I am driving in, of course. Gotta start the day off with the drive in to work and traffic y right now. 7 30 and it is a little congested, but the traffic is moving heavily congested for summertime. And today I have no idea what's on tap. I didn't even look at the schedule. I know I've got several jobs holding, one of them being a big uh, lake house with a bunch of Pella doors. I'm watching this guy behind me. Uh, a bunch of Pella, like sliding or swinging, I, don't, I think it's sliding doors. And a Baldwin handle set that they had taken off and I don't know if I'm going to get that today. That was actually supposed to be done last Friday but I uh, didn't get a chance. It's just one of those things that he doesn't really care when it's done. He just makes it done. And I uh, still have a light out, at, light out at the shop. I have not gone by somewhere to get one. And I think it was, I, I'm, I know a lock picking magician or well, one of you guys had mentioned to uh, go to Costco to get some LED lights. Okay, so number one, we don't have a Costco. Number two, we are trying to get a Costco, but where they're trying to put it, all the homeowners are throwing a hissy fit. So it's kind of in legal tango right now. And uh, we do have a Sam's, which my membership lapsed. I hadn't renewed it in like a year. Cause really the only thing I get at Sam's Club is A1 because it's big bottles and it's cheap, way cheaper than grocery store or even Walmart. Um, of course, I could get LED lights at Lowe's or, or Home Depot. The reason why I didn't, the reason why I, when those lights, those eight foot old fluorescent bulbs started going out and they started going out like last year, I had to replace like four of them, um, is because we have it's an old building and we have plaster walls and plaster ceiling. And when you take those lights down, there's like well, number one, a big hole where the wiring comes out of the ceiling. Uh, number two, it's not grounded, so you kind of got to jump a ground. And number three, uh, I just didn't. I just grabbed the bulb, the fixtures, and start putting them up. I'm kind of worried about fluorescent because, or LED because it's going to be a different light than what's there. And I've got like five or six, well, all together I've got about eight to ten fixtures in the shop. But up in that front area, I've got one, two, three, four, I think. And I'm worried about different lights coming down. So to do them, i got to do them all. Uh, and I could do that one at a time. I could go ahead and replace it with LED. I'll look at them, but uh, that fixture where the light bulb went out is brand new. It's one that I replaced last year. So just crap that they sell nowadays. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go check into that. Probably swing by Home Depot today and look. Uh, I'm probably going to go back with the 8-foot fluorescents just because of the, they all look the same. Just depends on how the LEDs look. My next door neighbor, the cleaners, uh, I had to help him figure out. He didn't know, he doesn't know anything about wiring, so uh, he had bought some LEDs for his uh, plant where they do the clothes. And he hung them up and I showed him how to do it. And uh, I hadn't been back over there to see how it turned out, but I might go look at that too. I don't know. So anyway, uh, just to be able to merge all this video together and keep it under 30 minutes. I gave up on the 20 minute day videos. I mean, it's not going to happen. No matter how much I speed and crop and cut stuff, I can't squeeze a whole day into, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes. So I'm sure this will be a 30 minute video. I always appreciate y'all watching. Thanks and all the subscriptions and 
uh, thumbs up. I'd really appreciate some more thumbs up or thumbs down if you want to be like that. But um, any any kind of interaction, you know, thumbs up is supposed to help your YouTube views and, and rankings or whatever. So if y'all would, let's see how other people say it. If y'all would, like smash that thumbs up for me. <laughs> see you in a minute. <laughs> so I just set up my GoPro in the truck to record me sitting out there to organize, kind of straighten up my front passenger seat. And while I was sitting there talking, I revealed a whole bunch of plans for my YouTube channel and also described my YouTube channel, kind of talking about just how I, why I started it and all that. But in all that, I had kind of revealed my kind of some future plans and turns out my GoPro did not record it. it it i recorded i hit record but it gave me a little star or exclamation point when i went to check the seven or eight minute video of me uh re revealing some some plans so <laughs> i guess my gopro decided for me that it was not time to reveal your secrets so thanks for that i am checking the schedules today going through all this paperwork and I don't really have anything lined up so that is going to let me take care of some issues that I need to on the calls that are holding uh, oh so right now it is coffee time and I'll be right back I'm going to get coffee I am extremely short on uh, several other keys so I'm going to go ahead and do that and stamp keys, cut keys. We've already done that on, on the videos together, so I'll catch you in a little bit. Or you can watch. Schlage keys, I need, uh, I've been kind of scalping all the keys out of my truck, pre-cuts on jobs, because I've done a lot of houses lately. And starting to run short again on pre-cut keys, pre-cut them so that it's quicker on jobs. Like I mentioned before, that's much better to do all this in the nice air conditioning, easy, already set up area to do it and be able to just get on the job, grab the number of keys they need and go. I'm really not paying attention to what I'm doing this morning. And that key just went flying. So, stamping me some schlags and quick sets. See how my thumbs kind of inflamed. I have had a bunk thumb for a month ever since I drilled it. A month and a half, I guess now. I don't know. Something like that. So, tired of having a bad thumb. In case you missed it, I sliced my thumb open on a ham that my mom sent me. For a birthday present and uh, it was the same thumb that I drilled through which is healing up but then I go and slice it open. Slade keys I whack them with two different stamps because of the lines that go across the heads which on the topic of stamping keys uh, Somebody whacked the six in our stamp, held it upside down and started to hit it. Somebody being me. Uh, I was in a real big hurry that day and I screwed up the number six. Gonna have to get a new stamp one day. But because Schlage keys, even if it wasn't messed up, I'll show you what happens when you stamp Schlage compared to other ones. When you have a nice head like that or that that has no lines 
with the stamp, you can get the name and number on it. But when you do Schlage, the number goes across those lines. So I had an old stamp that I ground off the name and we put our number on that little line. Now, it's not meant to be perfect or even legible. Really, the stamp is to let us know that it's our key. While usually that's easy to do, to tell, there are a handful of other people that use brass keys. So, just to make sure we stamp our name on them, all that go out the shop, all the keys. Uh, so, we know where they're from. We know if it's our keys or not. Let's see how many I did. About 27. Two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 25. I was off by two. Shucks. Come over and set these up. To start cutting them. Enjoying this AC right now because when I do I have to get out. Ugh, I just don't like it. Don't like it. it makes me want to move up north. I know everybody has weather issues and stuff, but yeah. Summertime in Mississippi really wants, makes me want to move somewhere where it snows. But my wife hates cold weather, so we are at an impasse over that. Um, yeah, that's enough time on this. Cut some, and maybe I'll stay quiet and speed up a little video. How about that? How about we just how about we just stay quiet for a minute? And I don't like it when music plays in the background because it's just a squeak. So I'm just going to stay quiet and do a little bit of fast fasty video so see you in a little bit enjoy the fasty video Customer. Uh, okay, so what we have here is uh, keys. <laughs> what we have here is keys. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I have learned to separate videos by stopping and start now instead of cutting and, and pasting. Horrible. Uh, so we are going to duplicate all these keys that I just made.
Okay, so as you can see, we used all of our stamped keys this morning. So, probably gonna have to stamp some more. I like keeping some stamped because we have a lot of walk in customers that just need quick set of schlag, and it's nice to not have to stamp them when they're here. So, again, you know what's about to happen. Alright, let's put some pins in the pinning kit with the sun on my shoulder. We see we are kind of running low there. Kind of running low. Let's see how close we can get. About like that. Alright, so as always, let's go through the pins where they're supposed to be. Pretty clean. Good. I need to restock those pretty bad. Alright, what do we have in here? We got 267. I've got I'm saving these for one of you guys. Getting close to being having enough to go out. Getting in the shop. I can remember that. 252 is too full. Alright, so 240, 195, 216. I know I don't have any of those. So that is it. Uh, we can go ahead and dump these probably. Just for, for fulfillment purposes. We all love a full kit. Oh, I lost a 195. Either 
scrap or reused for setup keys. Or so and these are the blocks that we have rekeyed and put into use in the field. So out of all new locks, but I don't have use for so many pre-cuts. So most of the time they either get scrapped or sold. Okay, just got back from a sports store where I went and tried an American padlock in one of the in their bigger Pelican cases just to check something for one of our. Now we are, or now we are working on a wafer desk lock. So on these, what I do is uh, get a pick, pick the lock. Where are we? Where are we? Camera, camera, camera. I know the lighting's horrible at this angle. But anyway, I'm going to pick this wafer lock and decode it uh, to make a key. It's a little Y11 key. So we're just going to wiggle it around here and wiggle it around here until it picks. Wow, voila. And we're going to look in here. And look at the heights of the wafers and decode it that way. So it looks like we have you got to look at the wafers underneath them. So if you got long wafers in the front, it makes it harder. So it looks like right now we got uh, 
looks like two, three, something, five, something. I can't see behind that five, and it's a little Y11 keyway. So we're gonna chance it with two, three. I look up in there and I see another two. And it's actually probably four. So we'll just go two, four, two. No, 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 no. Let's say two, three, two, three. That was really shallow. So two, three, one, five, two. Two, three, one, five, two. Two, three, one, five, two. And we're gonna come over here. Two, three, what did I say? Two, three, one, five, two. Two three one five two or two three something else. Almost it. it's tight, so that means one of the cuts needs going down, and that would be the tip one that we couldn't see. Got a huge mark on it, so we're gonna knock that tip cut down. Couldn't see behind that five or four, so we'll go X two, three, one, four, X. It works. I'm gonna knock that one down just a bit. Hey. Hey. Be right with you. Videos? Yeah. Cool. You got it or you need me? I got it. Alright, on these, you're going to take that bottom tip off a little bit so that it doesn't pull the retainer down. Oh, sorry about that. What I was saying was sometimes it's best to take this angle off because on some locks, there is a retainer in like the sixth position. And if this is sticking up at a certain point when you put the key in, this will actually pull that retainer down and the plug will come out. So on most all Y11 blanks, I put it on a grinder and grind off just the tip of it, reform the angle so that it doesn't stick as far down in the keyway so there won't be that issue. And it doesn't do it on all of them, but ones like this there, where I know there is a retainer in there, uh, I always do it. Do it like this.
got called out to Riki a business where they're firing an employee and I came in at the same time as the employee who is right now getting fired. Ooh. Hey guys, how that was uh, humorous. Interesting, humorous. Yeah. Good time to fire the person when the locksmith shows up. Oh, by the way, you're out of here, buddy. Yeah, this guy's here to lock you out. Don't worry about giving your key back. Hmm. Don't worry about it. We got it taken care of. Got us a little quick five cylinder rekey here. Glass door and a steel door. Front door, back door. Very common. Very uncommon to have double cylinder all the way around, but that's what it is. That's what it is. Thing again. that spring I was about to say, please don't be back. We are all done with this quick rekey. And probably going to be done with the day because all I'm going to do is go back in the shop and piddle around for a while until it's time to go home. And in the meantime, get all this uploaded for you guys. But other than that, So I'm back in the shop and I've got another dead wiser knob. Except for this one is that I guess that's gonna be a 613 or ugly brown finish. I 
don't know if they have these or not anymore. But anyway, I am done with this video. So again, thanks for watching guys and peace. Have a good one. Oh yeah, I meant to say, uh, I have a new pouches coming in tomorrow from VanQuest. So my next video will be a uh, unboxing and uh, checking out of said pouches. Uh, bye. 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 My next video will be a unboxing and checking out of three new pouches, which hopefully will become my new pick kit. So stay tuned for that video soon in a couple of days.